Well, a West Dallas company saves money when it rains. That's because the owner has set up rain barrels the size of submarines underneath his business. Jesse Ritka explains. Anyone can use rain barrels to take Mother Nature's precipitation and harvest it for themselves. But John Poblaki of Poblaki Paving is taking that rain and harvesting it in containers the size of submarines. And I wanted to do this for probably eight or ten years. I'd seen the ideas and I just think it's fantastic. But Blocky doesn't want to waste any water that falls onto his company's nearly three acre property, especially when they go through so much of it during the construction season. But unlike the drought of 2012, Poblaki won't have to pay for the water his company uses. It was so dry and we have to water fields and soccer fields and bike trails. We'll use four or five million gallons. We'll generate that ourselves. Poblaki may be a pioneer in paving the way for water preservation. We're self-sufficient for water. And California would like to say that. My grandkids aren't going to have to suffer when they take the water out of Lake Michigan because it's going to happen. So he wants more states, companies, and residents to pay attention and plan ahead for the future. If other people would do it, and it's not that hard to do, we wouldn't have to go in the deep tunnel and we wouldn't have to pollute Lake Michigan with that line that's out in the water. And, you know, Chicago could do it. Saving the environment and company dollars with each downpour. Everybody benefits. How many times does that happen in life? The state raises your taxes and what more do you get for it? I mean, here, there's an actual gain for this, you know, for civilians, for contractors, for everybody. It's a big gain. And I'm proud of it. I'm extremely proud of it. Poblaki's plans are already becoming popular. There are four other groups interested in harvesting rainwater for themselves. In West Dallas, Jesse Ritka, today's TMJ4. That's a pretty fascinating yeah, idea. Cycling. Yeah. Grant through MMSD helped pay for the $600,000 project. And Poblaki expects it to pay for itself in the next three years.